it's alex if you're new here welcome to my channel if you're returning welcome back it's been so long since i've filmed i have not filmed since pageant weekend <laughs> every video you've seen before that was like old content this is my first time on camera since pageant weekend and i'm so excited today we're doing a get ready with me for my first pr event Yes, y'all heard me, my first PR event. It's a private concert. It's at the NASCAR Hall of Fame. It's tonight from seven to 10. And I'm so, so excited to have this opportunity. So let's get started because I also wanna chat to you guys, not just about this opportunity, but catching up, chit chat, everything that's been going on. So let's get into it. Starting with my hair, obviously. So we're gonna put some curls in here. I don't think I have time to like pin my hair up because it's like so little time. So I guess I'm gonna just let these curls do what they do. I don't know yet, y'all. Honestly, I tried to talk to y'all while doing my hair, but it didn't sit right with me. There was so much going on and the wand kind of fell off the thing because I forgot to lock it and I low-key burned myself just a tiny bit and it just went all bad. So <laughs> we're just gonna continue on with the makeup and I'm gonna try really talking to y'all again because it doesn't sit right to give y'all bad content. It just doesn't. So let's try this again, shall we? My first PR event as an influencer. I'm going to the Smirnoff Ice relaunch tour at the NASCAR Hall of Fame. When the Fallon PR team invited me to go, I was over the moon, so excited because I didn't know what cool things were coming next in my influencer journey. I've been so focused and locked in with the pageant. Afterwards, you know, like people are asking me like, okay, so what's next? What are your next moves? What are your next steps? Sticking to YouTube, sticking to like my content and everything and continuing to end on my influencer journey. It's not about trying to stress myself out and figure out what's next. It's about just committing to what I said I was gonna to commit to. And y'all know I said I was going to stay committed to YouTube because I really care about this platform. When this came up, when Fallon PR team invited me to the PR event, it felt like, oh my gosh, yes. Confirmation, I'm still on the right path. I'm still seen and recognized. And this is just a big moment for me because since I decided I wanted to really dive deep into my influencer journey, I want everything out of it. I wanted like to do the affiliate marketing, even though it's not really new to me. I want to be at the PR events. I want to go on brand trips. So. I'm taking all the correct steps towards what I want. Oh, this is just the beginning. Everything else is like just up from here. It's gonna skyrocket. What's tea? So my pageant weekend vlog, I was starting to edit it this week and it turns out that during pageant weekend, technical difficulties on the camera's part and it made almost every single one of my videos slow motion and you can undo like slow motion like, you can just speed the video up but you cannot recover the audio so i was livid i was so upset that that happened because having those memories and i was just so excited to like share it with you guys and to know that it's not going to be the same as imagine it was disappointing but that's what happens in life Things get messed up. Technology messes up. Things are not always gonna go the way you expect it to, but you have to adjust and adapt, which is what I'm gonna do. So I have to take this week off so I can like take my time to like really edit and give y'all still a great experience for the pageant weekend vlog. But I know, however it turns out, it was meant to be. So I'm not too worried about it anymore. I got my emotions out and I'm moving on because when you're a professional, things just happen. My roommate went on a cruise and she's been gone for a week, basically. And this was my first time having the apartment to myself ever <laughs> since we moved. And it's been really cool living alone. 
At first, I wasn't sure how it would be. I was excited to like have that alone time just to see, but everything went so well. I've been working out every day. Honestly, after pageant weekend, my routines have been so much stronger. I've been reading Atomic Habits. So I've been finding ways to make my routines flow even easier for me. So like living alone, I've just been getting like so much done, checking everything off my to-do list for the day. And honestly, it went by super fast. I miss Destiny. It's really boring <laughs> living by yourself and like not having a roommate, especially when your roommate is like your best friend and y'all love to do everything together. So that has been an adjustment, but I love keeping myself company and I learned so much about myself. I've done so much shadow work and I feel like a new and improved person. I was allowed to bring this one. So I invited my girls. Anytime I have the opportunity, I wanna like have my friends with me cause I know it's gonna be times where I'm not gonna be able to like bring my friend. I've had so many firsts this year, so many firsts. I had my, my first huge influencer campaign. I had my first pageant, my first YouTube channel, obviously, and now my first PR event. It's so many things going on and it would never happen if I didn't make that step. So many people claim they would do what I'm doing if they had like the guts to do it or like, if they weren't scared to fail. But like, I just think that means you don't like want it enough because when you want it enough, you're gonna start. And the only place to start from is usually nothing and you make it something. I'm very proud of myself because when I made the decision to really pursue this influencer journey, despite people's opinions about it, I just knew that like, this was something I was always meant to do. So imagine if I cared so much about other people's opinions or failure, I don't even know what failure is, <laughs> that I did not go for my dreams. And when you have a dream and you wanna go for it, you need to get real with yourself and ask how bad do you want it? And there was this quote I saw on someone's Instagram story. I wish I knew who posted it. You can come into a field with zero experience and still end up being the best at it if you're willing to be a student more than you care about being famous. So many people have thoughts about how the influencer journey should go. I know me, I've had a lot of people in my ear when they heard what I was doing, well, why don't you do this to gain more followers? But I'm not here trying to like like go viral and have the most followers. When building a platform, I want people who actually care about me and like the things I have to say and who will support me and help propel me to the next level. I'm always trying to elevate to the next thing. I don't mind doing it the, people call it the long hard way, <laughs> even though it doesn't feel long or hard to me. It's a process. I don't mind building upon a strong foundation and going up from there. Because at the end of the day, it's not about the followers. It's about literal influence. If you're trying to monetize, it's about the money too. <laughs> not doing it for the money, but it's not sustainable thing to go viral. like. Brands aren't worried about that and like the people that are gonna support you it's only until like the next viral thing. I never had to do a bunch of gimmicks to grow a platform. People knew my Twitter platform, how much I gained on Twitter in such a short amount of time as an astrologer is because I was true to myself. I wasn't here trying to always go viral and make a viral tweet because people didn't care about that. I stayed true to myself and the people who were for me, they found me. And that's how you have to think when it comes to doing certain things like putting yourself out there. The people who are meant for you will find you. They will. Finishing up, I had to do some last minute touch-ups. I was feeling like a mess, y'all. So I just had to get everything together off camera, but I feel real cute now. I can't wait to see what's next after this. I'm living in the moment. I'm so excited for tonight, but like, I just know it's only up from here. So y'all better catch me while y'all can cause the booked and busyness is literally on the way. Love a heavy highlight moment anyway, right? Okay. 
all right i'm fixed up oh the lashes that was a disaster i just hope it looks decent enough it looks decent enough in the mirror um gotta empty my wallet and then give y'all a full thing right before i leave now i gotta do this hopefully it's nothing on my floor but these jeans my fave jeans ever mdv you know forgot where this top was from i've had it so long and 